That's an interesting question. Right now, we ask this question about this present age. It's like, what about right now, people that live on the earth that have never heard the gospel? Well, what we know is that there's no other name given among men by which we must be saved but the name of Jesus. And we're also very aware that Jesus told us that it's our responsibility to go and to preach the gospel. So we bear responsibility for the ones that do not know. But Romans 1 also tells us, it says that those, everybody, in, that God has revealed himself through creation, and he's also revealed it in human conscience, so that nobody will ever stand before God without an excuse, with an excuse. Nobody can say, I never heard, I didn't know. Because to those who have never heard the gospel, I believe, Romans 1's pretty clear, that God hold people accountable to the level of revelation that they have. Everybody knows there's a God. Everybody knows that they're a sinner and everybody knows that they can't fix themselves. To that degree, I believe God holds them accountable in this present age. Now, what happens when Jesus comes back and there's people on the earth? Number one, when Jesus returns, you need to know this. And I, you know, I wish this was, I wish it was a more optimistic perspective. But during the time of the tribulation, the Bible says that because of what is happening on the earth, about a third of humanity is gonna die. And then it says that the Antichrist is going to come with a lot of deception and a lot of lies. Many false Christs, many false prophets are gonna come and deceive many, Jesus said in Matthew 24, and deceive many. And the love of many will grow cold. So during that time period, People are going to be deceived on mass scale. Revelation chapter 13 says that the whole world will worship the beast. So this figure is going to come on the scene who's a peacemaker. He's almost supernatural. He seems to have fixed everything. And he is going to elevate himself above God. Second Thessalonians says that he will take his place in the temple. And he will basically take upon himself divinity and worship and cause the whole world to worship him. And because the whole world is deceived and because he seems to be a peacemaker and a messianic type of figure, most of the world is going to worship him. And he says he's gonna cause the whole world, rich and poor, small and great, to receive a mark. A mark that it's not gonna be accidental. The world will receive the mark as an act of allegiance to him in order to operate within his new society the mark of the beast. You won't be able to buy or sell without it. It will be economic, but it will also be religious. It will be an act of worship. And when that happens, so many people are going to be sealed in their deception and lost. Now, there will be people that are saved during the tribulation. There will be people that are God-fearing, that are going to cry out to God. And you know, many of them, unfortunately, might lose their life for their faith. To name the name of Jesus during the tribulation is going to come with the cost of martyrdom. I know we don't love to hear that, but that's, it's, Christians have been martyred around the world for years and years, for 2,000 years. It, it's probably even going to spread globally towards the end. But there are, there are going to be people that are, the church, one of the reasons why I believe that the church will be present during some or most of the tribulation is because God is going to use the church. They loved not their lives, even unto death, but they, they overcame by the blood of the lamb, by the word of their testimony. I think that there's gonna be a spreading of the gospel to the nations that takes place in the midst of some of the worst times that the planet has ever seen. And there's gonna be a lot of people that are saved, that cry out to the Lord, that are gonna, that are gonna be aware of it. And uh, so... The time is not, let's not wait until that takes place. Listen, it's never gonna be easier to follow Jesus than it is to this day, right now. So do it today, follow Jesus. Listen, there are things that have happened in this generation. There are things that are happening currently right now that have been prophesied 3,000, 2,500, 2,000 years ago that there is no way in the world those people could have known what was coming on the face of the earth. Listen, people get ready Jesus is coming. And if you're not right with God, today is the day to get right with God. Today, right now. Not wait seven years, not wait three years. Because if you wait, all that's waiting for you is deception. 
You're gonna be deceived like a frog in a boiling kettle, one degree at a time until you don't even know your heart's hardened. So Jesus tells us right now, get ready, be ready, lift up your heads, your redemption draws nigh.